this video, I'm going to respond to the last video I did, questions, amazing questions. I did a video on kidney failure. I reiterated Nick's strength and powers video where he presented a transformation of a man that crashed and burned, kidney disease, and came back. It appears like he's okay and he's normal. And I wanted to make sure people understood that this is not going to be an easy transformation like one of these weight loss transformations. Again, Nick is doing a great job, but Nick, you're not a doctor, and I have to criticize. The world has to understand that be careful because I'm going to talk about what this man went through through these questions. First question, Mr. R9 Brazil asks, hey doctor, such a great subject. Can you elaborate on bodybuilding after a transplanted kidney with no muscle enhancing drugs? Can you train like a normal person? Okay, after you receive a transplanted kidney, you're gonna be on a bunch of anti-rejection immunosuppressive drugs, including prednisone. You're not gonna feel good. There's at least four meds, very complicated. I have dozens of patients today that I'm taking care of with other transplant surgeons, nephrologists, endocrinologists, other internists and primary care doctors all around the world that they are, they have received a transplanted kidney and they are living with that. So can you train like a normal person? Of course you can, of course you can. You're not gonna be as big and strong. You're, you probably won't feel as well because you're on all those medicines and those medicines are for life, please. Most people lose their kidney function because of diabetes and hypertension and genetics, not because of steroids. It's in there today and it's growing and I see a lot of it. You're gonna see a lot more of it, but it's unusual. It's sad where you destroy one of your organs. It didn't have to be. Some people lose their organ function just because of just the wounds line up and they have bad luck. So please be careful. Again, you're gonna be on a bunch of other medicines for blood pressure, cholesterol, potentially diabetes, other medical issues. Um, yes, you could train as a normal person, but you're not gonna feel great as you did before you had kidney failure and received your transplanted kidney. So thank you so much, that's a great question. Next question is talking about kidney disease and kidney damage with testosterone replacement. Outstanding question, Smiler, Periella says he did get a transplant from his brother. We're talking about the man that's in Nick's video. Would TRT be a huge risk in kidney damage? Question mark. Assuming you have your cholesterol and blood pressure all perfect and in check. Excellent, excellent question. And I have these patients. I have dozens of these patients. So yes, after all the patients that I have, they're all on TRT and they feel okay. They're not going back to pro bodybuilding. They don't even, they don't, they never feel as great as they did before. Again, I'm saying it again. So that what happens is, let's talk about TRT. Can TRT cause kidney damage? Absolutely not. There's millions of men on TRT and they feel fine and they're not at risk for damage to their kidneys. Now you have to be careful. Kidney damage is very complicated. Let's review it. Genetics. Number one is genes. There's a bunch of genes out there, and don't be, just go check your genes, go see good doctors. You have a genetic propensity for it. Then you have endothelial damaging forces, blood pressure, it's called hypertension, too much protein, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, anabolic steroids can damage the lining of the internal aspect of the artery that's so sensitive in your kidney and the kidney tissue itself in different regions of the kidney. It can be renal toxic directly to it. We know this, but when you're young, you can get through almost any of this and that's why you see it very rarely, thank God, and you see it later, usually after 20 years of, of steroid use. So again, it's damaging forces. You're putting the straw on the camel's back. You have genes for it. You're hypertensive from the steroids, not to mention the steroids itself. Too much protein, 
too much Motrin, ibuprofen, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, and then you start seeing the glomerular filtration rate go down as the creatinine levels on the labs go up, and you start peeing protein. Please, I'll do a review in the end of things you should be checking for. This is how it happens. So TRT levels definitely do not cause kidney disease. But men and women that are not on TRT have kidney damage anyway. How? Why? Most commonly, hypertension and diabetes. If you go to the dialysis centers in America, and it's the same all around the world. We're all human beings. Next, excessive protein without steroids. Let's talk about that. 4D Bullshit Patrol. Wow, what a YouTube name. What about heaps of protein shakes without roids? I have a friend doing that. Outstanding. Again, one of the damaging components of how you destroy a kidney on top of everything else is excessive protein. Now, what's excessive protein? The recommendation for upper limit normal protein intake is 1.5 to 2 grams per kilogram body weight. That's it. That's the math on it. Now, if you're taking steroids, and if you're a young, healthy person, and you take more than that to build muscle, there's no data that says if you go up over that, that's actually going to work and build more muscle. Now, when you're on steroids, it will, but is it damaging? There's controversial evidence that says taking too much protein before you have kidney disease is potentially damaging. There's really no studies on this. I've talked to a lot of nephrologists and renal experts all over the world about this. Doctor, hey, these are guys that are taking too much protein, way over two grams per kilogram body weight per day for years, say without steroids or minimal steroids, not to mention with steroids, is it going to be damaging to these, these patients that I'm seeing and they're asking this? We don't know. Different degrees of danger because of your genetic susceptibility. How much risk would you like to take? Please, next question. Kidney support supplements, amazing. This is a great question, like the liver support supplements. So DLT asks, will you please tell me if there's any kidney support supplements that actually work? I'm 34 and my GFR is down to 52 and I'm always tired and feeling weak. I've been taking steroids for nine years, not crazy doses, just mostly test TRT testosterone with a few blasts a year. Any advice would be much appreciated. DLT. Perfect question. Please, sir, please go see a doctor. Please go see an internist. Please, if you may not have kidney disease, you could have an elevated creatinine level that's causing a false positive lowering on paper of your estimated GFR. Please, this is a common mistake. I see it all the time. If you're not sure, go see a nephrologist, a renal, a kidney expert. Please. So there are no supplements. Again, and I'm not in bed or out of bed or anywhere in the room with any supplement companies. I, I just, I, supplement companies are fine. Supplements work. You have to be careful to be sold things that are not only going to waste your money and waste your time, but that can hurt you. There's, if there's supplements that really work for, that, that are kidney protecting, they're, they're not, they're not going to be substantial. You know how you protect your kidneys? Don't do something that hurts your kidneys. It's common sense. So there are no supplements for kidney support. But please, sir, go see a nephrologist. Go see a doctor. Let's see if you really, truly, after nine years of doing steroids, have some kidney disease. Next question. FSGS, that's focal segmental glomerular sclerosis. That's the most common type of kidney damage we see with anabolic steroid using men. Can you get it? with perfect blood pressure? Great question. You definitely can. But again, it's one of the contributing forces of destroying your kidneys. FSGS, you have the genes. African-American men have more of these genes than Caucasian men, for an example. Next, you do steroids. That's potentially damaging directly on the nephron, directly on the endothelial lining of the capillary bed from the coronary artery to the kidneys. Next, too much protein. Next, you're hypertensive. See, that's how it works. Next, years of duration. Yes, this is how it happens. I've picked up so many men now that are proceeding, that are not, they don't have full kidney damage yet. I'm catching them early. 
It's amazing because I'm looking at, I'm doing a history, I'm looking at their chemistries and including looking at the urine. And I see early traces of proteinuria. Proteinuria, you should not have protein in your urine. Next question, very interesting. Kanisha Sharma writes, I'm 18 and take steroids, doc. I'm on my first cycle for kidney protection. I drink 10 plus liters a day, every day, and I start using cocoa beans. Is that okay? Wow. Please be careful, sir. So overhydrating yourself is not going to help renal protection. Matter of fact, that can lead to hyponatremia where you're going to dilute down the sodium, the salt that needs to be a very specific parameter in your blood and lead to um, dangerous things like passing out if you're driving the car or not feeling well. It's called hyponatremia. We're very experienced internists. We see it in the hospital, usually with elderly people that are on certain medications. Please be careful. Don't drink all that water. It's unnecessary. Last question. So many great questions. Mr. Surfer Global writes, my estimated GFR is in the low 60s from anabolic androgenic steroids, he says. That's a low 60% kidney function, stage two kidney disease. This is what he says. From years of abuse, don't think it would happen because it will. That's what he's warning. Please go on my channel and see these. This question. I am being monitored by a kidney specialist. No protein or calcium in the urine. So I'm not at the point of no return. Vow to go on TRT. So, Mr. Surfer Global, outstanding. And thank you for sharing with the world that you have the beginning of kidney disease. And you're saying it's from anabolic steroids. Please, everyone, understand this. This is an incredible thread we have going on here. So, he's being monitored very closely by a kidney expert. That's outstanding. That's what you need. And he has no proteinuria, which is outstanding. I'm catching that. The early disease based on the serum and the, the depression of the estimated GFR, but no proteinuria or proteinuria that cleans up easily. When you stop the offending agent and you lower to TRT doses, not in this man's case, you stop the excessive protein and you stop the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Please listen to that. Please, please, what I just said, the excessive protein when you have kidney disease and the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, the Motrin, the ibuprofens, th please. This is what I'm, people think these are over the counter, that they're safe. Very, very, so simple changes that can save your kidneys and your life and you'll feel great. That's it for the questions. Okay, what do you do? You're on steroids, you wanna come off steroids, you need to wean off steroids, you need to see an expert, testosteronologist like myself, someone that's qualified, not anti-aging doctors. Those are ridiculous. If you want to anti-age, don't have a heart attack. That's what I say. You want to be careful. Don't just get off. You want it, you may withdraw. See a qualified healthcare provider that I'm training. Move forward carefully. And here are the tests you're going to want to get in the world. You're going to want to get a history and physical exam. You're want, you need to get vital signs, blood pressure. You need to be evaluated from the outside. Equicardiograms, potentially if you're hypertensive, if you have murmurs and your heart may be enlarged, you need to get a coronary artery calcium score. Again, it's the same thing, heart, kidney, heart, kidney. That's internal medicine, it's the essence. And then the labs. So many people don't get labs, which is bad, and then so many of you get labs but you're just focusing on these labs and you're really not getting, the full picture is the labs may or may not tell the tale. You could be getting hurt inside. Remember, straws on the back. The first part of this video, please watch that again. You wanna get a CBC, you wanna get a CMP or a basic metabolic panel with estimated GFR, the BUN and the creatinine and the electrolytes, not to mention glucose as well. You want to look at your cholesterol. You want to look at sugars. You want to look at hemoglobin A1C. You really want to be evaluated. Again, if you are young and you're just starting to use steroids, your organs won't get hurt overnight. But when you're getting older, even in your fourth, late 30s, 
and 40s and 50s. By the time you're 60 and 70, look at some of these bodybuilders. And some of these great people from the back in the 70s and the 80s, they're in serious trouble now. I take care of many of them. They regret what they did. We don't have to have this happen today. You can get help on this. You could slow the train down. You could not use these drugs ever if, you want, if you're scared of this happening. It, aging is dangerous enough as it is. Why would you want to accelerate that with anabolic steroids? And again, testosterone replacement can be absolutely beautiful. There's no question about it. If you need it, it's dosed properly, you could feel phenomenal. You could have great muscle tissue and you could live a very long, healthy life. Again, you have to watch everything. It's very complicated. Thank you so much. I hope this helps. Dr. Thomas O'Connor here. I'm glad you made it to the end of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button and please subscribe to our channel. And I look forward to bringing you more cool and interesting videos just like this in the future. Stay strong and healthy. Yeah.